What's going on guys? TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft. Modded Minecraft playing FTB Academy. Really excited to get going today. We got a couple things planned out. I've done this actually twice now because I messed up earlier with what we were making. I accidentally uh, used the gold that we were going to use for something else for this episode. So we have it now. Let's go ahead and fix what we were doing here. Yeah, we had a... Oh, no, no, no. Get that back. Put it right there. There we go. I knew we could do it. So we're going to put this gold inside of here. What I want to make is ingots. So I need gold inside the smelter. So we're going to wait for that to smelt up real quick. And then we're going to bring it out on the other side. I've also got a brick. There you go. We made clay into a brick. And we're going to make a mold for ingots so we can actually make iron ingot. Because some, we didn't tell you about the smelter in the last episode. We have a whole bunch of iron inside of here. Right here. Molten iron. This has a ore doubler. So instead of getting two for one, you get one for one out of this. So it actually helps out a lot for how much you actually get out of it. All right, gold is all melted. Let's get the gold on the bottom. Oh, did it work? Hold on. There we go. Gold's on the bottom. Basically, you just go in here. You click which one you want to use. Then you come over here. We put our brick on there. Do that. And bam, we're going to get a little cast of the gold. Look at that. How cool is that? Definitely amazing. There's a whole bunch of things you can make on here, but that was the main one we wanted to do. Uh, we could do like the... Oh, you know what we can do is we can go ahead and start working on one of our next tools. Let's do that. We can go inside of here, and we want to check out this. So the, the quest that we're working on is we actually want to make forging onward because there's some amazing stuff we can get once we make this. But we need the blocks of iron, so I needed the little iron, what do you call them, the iron ingots in order to do that. So we put a bunch of iron inside of here, and now we're trying to get it out. That's the basic gist. So now we put our little iron cast. We come over here, and we click back on the iron, and now we do this. Bam! And we just wait for the iron ingot to form, and we do this a whole bunch of times. Like I said, you get more out of it. Now, we can automate this. We can actually automate this to where it's a lot faster, but we need uh, a couple things. We need a servo, and then we probably need like a hopper, or at least a case down here. And we need some of the fluid ducts, or not the, the item duct, excuse me. So, we'll keep doing this. Um, let me do this for a few minutes and see how many I can get out of this. I need a total of 3, 6, 9, 18 total in order to make it, because I already have two of them ready. So... Let me make this for a few minutes. All right, there we go. Last two getting made up. We actually switched it over to this side so we can make two ingots at once. Now we should be able to do this. All right, like that. There we go. Grab two more of those. Now we need these block of irons along with the other two blocks of iron. Say the S on the wrong word. Uh, let's see. Grab. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad thing because now we got to go into here, which is like the least organized thing ever. All right, there we go. Two block of iron. And we're trying to make this table. Let's see what else we need. So we have the iron, and then we need three seared bricks. I think we got it. So we go three seared bricks. And we go block of iron on each side. And, oh, I forgot the table. There we go. Now the table. Try it again. All right. Table. Block of iron. And seared stone. Bam. We have a tool forge. That is huge. This is going to allow us to make some more stuff here. So let's get rid of that. And is that the right one? I hope that's the right one. Let me see. Bam. That was the right one, right? Tool forge. Oh, we did the wrong one. Hold on. This one. Put the stencil table back. There we go. All right, so now that's back together. Now, since we finished that quest, we should get something out of that. Let me see. Go quest. Back to that. And we get choice reward. Okay. So we can do speed modifier or fortune modifier. Hmm. I guess technically we want that one, right? There we go. So we got some more lapis out of that. There you go. So that takes care of that whole quest line that way, which is really good. Now this allows us to make some more things. You can see it gives us more things right here. We want to make this. No, no, no. I'm sorry. This one? Which one is it? There's a hammer. There it is. The hammer. I love this hammer. This hammer is amazing. So we need the hammerhead, these little frowny faces, and the stick. All right, so the stick. Oh, let's get these back up here. So the stick. Let's see, the frowny faces times two. And oh, which one's the hammerhead? I think it's this one. Oh, let's see. It is the little, like, axe head looking one. This one right here. All right. Let's go ahead and put these on the pattern chest. There we go. I guess we didn't really need that one. And then we can grab these. Frowny face times one times two. Oh, we did it wrong. 
Oh, it's we need five more stone. Okay. So grab some more cobblestone. Put it over here. There we go. Why is it not working here? Oh, I guess we only need one of them. Okay, we only need one. That's why, because there's... I guess, I'm not really sure. All right, so let's go with the actual hammerhead piece. The stick should be that one. And we do two of these ones. So hopefully I can do that without... There we go. We'll do two just in case, because I, I don't remember if we need two or not. And then... I think we click back to clay. So let's go back to clay. Oh, my bad. And then we're going to come over to this one again. Pick these up. And we're going to put these down. One, two, three. There we go. Two, three. And we pour the clay on them. All right, like that. Okay, wait for those to get made up. All right, now we switch to the iron. Switch to iron, now we click it again. Bam, bam, bam. And that's gonna make a little iron thing of that same thing that we just did. Take just a second to finish off. And then th these are gonna disappear because they are clay instead of actual gold ones. Eventually we'll have gold ones so we can do this. All right, let's go ahead and place that on there. Bam, oh no. Do I not have more clay? Oh, does this one have to be something different? Hold on. Tinker's construct. What are we doing wrong here? Hammerhead. I'm not sure. Oh, we have to switch back to the clay. My fault. Okay. Switch back to the clay. Still kind of learning this. Still kind of figuring it out. There we go. Now clay. Make a clay cast. Bam, bam. All right. Wait for that to finish. And then we're going to switch it to iron. And there we go. Throw the iron in there. And then, bam, we're going to have all the pieces for the hammer. This hammer is amazing because it can actually take out three blocks at a time. It's a lot of fun. Let's see. Finish it up. Come on. There you go. 22%. It's going to take just a second on that one. It is about to be nighttime, so we'll go into sleep in just a second. I think I can get this made before the nighttime. And then... Tomorrow, we can start mining with this super amazing hammer. It's going to be a lot of fun because we're going to be able to get through the supplies a lot faster. All right. Yes, there we go. Because we do a lot of the mining in between episodes, and it's a lot of fun when you start getting into these bigger and better. Later on, you get like a, a, a laser thing, which is amazing. Oh, not nine time yet. Okay, so now let's go back into the tool. So now we click on this. So now we have that one and that one. We have that one, and we have that one. And we have the iron hammer. Look at that. Bam. Now, right now, if you look at it, it says that it's level clumsy. This will level up. As we get XP on it, we go around and dig on it. It'll get better and better. But what we can do is we can already upgrade it using that lapis and using the uh, redstone. There's a couple other things that you can use. What's the other one? If you look at this book, there's a book called Materials and You. Let's look at this little book, and we can actually read what the other upgrades are. Here we go. Materials and You. Oh, do we not grab it? All right. Oh, yeah. Pick that back up. Don't lose it. Okay, so inside of here, oh, whoa, 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 did I grab the wrong one? Oh, that is certainly the wrong one. This one, Materials in You, all right? That was like the whole FTB Academy book. So Materials in You is pretty amazing. Let's go back to the beginning. You can go on here and you do modifiers. It, there's all kinds of information in this book, but if you go to modifiers, it tells you some of the things you can do on it. You can put redstone on it to give it uh, haste. You can put lapis on it to give it luck, sharp, uh, so you can use quartz to sharpen and hone the edge of weapons, increases attack, different weapon scale differently, multiple levels, diamond, obviously you get more durability, all right, emerald, uh, you start getting more durability, mining level increased to iron and single use, uh, outrageous, uh, that's crazy, okay, uh, just other things that you can slowly put on there, there's so many different things that you can do for these different, uh, Think, oh man, there's just so many I want to try. I've not tried most of these yet. We, we've done just the basic ones, which is what we're going to do right now. So if we go to sleep real quick, we'll sleep and then we'll wake up, do the hammer, and then we can actually go around and start punching things with the hammer. Really excited. All right, let's go like this. Do the hammer. Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? Is it this one? Okay, so I think it's this one. We put this there. And we put the lapis up there. 
and you can see that it changes the bottom of the hammer so we go like that and then we put it back up there again get the redstone bam and then if we get some diamond i don't think we have any diamonds or anything yet hopefully we can find some kind of quickly now that we can mine like crazy uh i have slime ball <laughs> ender pearls a couple other things now i think you can do multiple uses of this oh no sorry go like that yeah it'll slowly upgrade it more and more there we go all right not too bad let's go ahead and drop everything because we're gonna use we're gonna get into lots of stuff here right now there we go all right check this out so it's gonna break somewhat quickly oh we need our food back there we go it's gonna break somewhat quickly and then as you upgrade it and it gets higher levels it'll last longer and longer but i'll show you exactly how good it is we're actually going to start a new mine just a little bit to the right or left of this one let's go let's go right over here i'm going to build this into a bridge eventually all right there you go there's a mine that we started that that'll work all right oh my bad i have that what is that aquamarine shell okay so if we go like this we use the hammer it does an actual three by three block so we can start going down really easily there we go. We just keep doing this. And now we're digging a, a three by three. Oh, there we go. There's some good stuff. Yeah, refill all that iron that I just spent. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And there you go. You can see how much mining we can get done now just in a really short amount of time. Oh, man, look at all that. Yeah. The three by three mining is amazing. So just in that little bit of time, I have more iron right there than I usually get in like a couple hours of mining, which is amazing. And we'll come back and get a lot of this. Now, this does not affect sand, so you can't actually do sand with this, which is a bummer. Uh, let's see. We do need some torches. Make sure we're not down here in the dark. There we go. All right. I'll do that, too, to get rid of that. There we go. Yeah, see, that one it's not going to do anything, too. So you still have to do regular mining on those ones, but that's fine. We'll come back, and I don't even have a shovel on me right now. We'll come back and worry about that in just a little bit. All right. Oh, man, we got like a witch or something right here. I hear you. I don't see you. Oh, there they are. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, it happened. Now. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Nope. There you go. Keep peeking around that corner. Make this easy on me. All right, one. Where's this other one at? Where's this other one? Where is it? Oh my God, there's a bunch of them. Oh no, we got hit. We might die, we might die. It's okay, it's okay. We'll teleport home if we have to. All right, I think we're okay. Man, that was kind of cool. <laughs> there you go. A little bit of fight action. Oh, what is this? Glocilium. I want it. What is it? I guess we need a shovel for it, but that's fine. Oh, okay. We've been down here. We've been down in this area a couple times. And that is it for my torches. All right. I really want to see what this glocilium is. Let's keep going. Oh, this is a legit cave. Okay. Look at this place. That is cool, man. I really like it. All right. We're going to have to get out of here. I'm going to teleport home in just a second. But there you go. We kind of want to show you what the hammer is all about. It's absolutely amazing. This underground area is sweet. Very, very, very cool. See, we could go around this because it's decently light. Let's do this. All right. Make sure we're not falling down. There we go. To be a little careful. <laughs> this is just crazy. It, see, now we can fill up our stuff so quickly. All right. This is pretty reckless mining. We're just going for it. There we go. You got to be careful if you start digging down with this thing. Oh, I really want that gold. We really need that to make more of the casts. All right, let's do this. Let's get some cobblestone down here. We're going to get this gold, and that's probably going to do it for today. I just wanted to get this. Oh, no. There we go. We just literally threw some stuff away. My bad. 
There we go. All right, let's finish this out. There we go. All right, super amazing. If we can get this. Awesome. Oh, a little bit of redstone too. Sweet, we'll take that. Awesome. There we go. Not too bad, guys. Let's go ahead and get back to base. All right, guys. So in order to repair it, we pretty much bring it back over here, place it back up there, and then you put whatever you need up top in order to repair it. Hold on. Let's do this. I think we need iron for it. Maybe it's maybe it's stone, but it should be iron, right? And then we go like that, and it's been repaired. And you keep doing that over and over. And if you look at the XP right now, it's 534 of 4,500. So it's going to slowly get better. And when you hit that that threshold of 4,500, it's going to tell you that you're getting more comfortable with your weapon than it gets, or with your thing, and then it gets a little bit better. There are certain modifiers you can put on each one. I think this one allows three modifiers. Let me see, does it tell me? Uh, but you can see right there the, the stuff that it does have on it. And yeah, we're going to keep upgrading it like that. And eventually it gets better and better. There's some other tools that are really cool in here. There's a shuriken. There, you can do the mine, uh, the actual pickaxe inside of here. Each one, like I said, gets better and better, and they're a lot of fun to play with. Over here is the side. Uh, just really cool. I really like this stuff. So a couple of these I've never used. A fry pan, <laughs> a heavy weapon. <laughs> that's awesome. I kind of I kind of want to use that just because it goes boing when you hit things. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. So I'm not really sure how long the episode is going to be. Hopefully, it's going to reach that you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever we're kind of reaching for. Uh, the next couple episodes will probably be only on the multiplayer server because now we're kind of caught up to where I am on the multiplayer server. We have this hammer like this. We have the the smelting stuff like this. I think the only other thing that we have to make is the power, which we have a, I think it's a coal generator, which is not too hard to make. It's pretty much, if we show you real quick, we got coal generator. Coal generator right here, which is not hard. It's cobblestone, coal, with an iron casting in the middle. Iron casting is easy to make. The hardest thing is the black quartz, which you just use uh, in the pulverizer. And the pulverizer is still something I haven't been able to make just yet, but we are going to get into that pretty soon. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Getting further into the FTB Academy this is an amazing mod. Everything from here on out should be on the multiplayer server. Although, man, I, I really like this single-player world. I might come back here from time to time just to play around on my own because I really enjoy this. But, yeah, that's the big thing. Once you start getting these right here where you can make the ingots, you can really do a lot of things. And now that I got a little bit more gold just from our little expedition, we should be able to get a bunch more. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome and amazing. It is indeed a thing.